Hey, what's up world and welcome to another trailer review. I was going to put this out maybe a couple days ago and uh, I just been so drained from work and everything else that I wanted to put it out soon, but I just needed to get some rest. But so we got the new trailer to the Matrix Resurrections, the newest Matrix film that's coming out this year that uh, they just really kind of started putting some hype behind. It's getting closer. It's coming out around uh, Christmas. And uh, we got the new trailer. I mean, I seen it on the internet. And then I went to go see. Uh, what did I go see? Crap. I forgot the name of the movie. Malignant. That's what I went to go see. And then seeing that, because it is a Warner Brothers movie, this trailer was before the movie. So, uh, yeah, I got to see it on the big screen as well. But uh, with all that aside... Let's talk about this trailer. So this trailer wasn't the greatest thing that I've, I've seen this week. Um, it isn't uh, one of the best trailers this year, but it did give me a little bit more anticipated for the Matrix movie um, before we didn't really know too, too much about the film. And now we kind of still don't know too much about the film. What we got out of it was that it's a lot more of the same action. It's a lot more of the same kind of effects and, you know, weirdness that, you know, we come to expect from the Matrix. And just a lot of the same visuals and everything else. And I'm, and I'm saying like the same visuals, just more some that we're familiar with, not seeing it truly as a bad thing. Um, but there is some notable stuff up in there. You got Keanu Reeves more than likely is going to be filming John Wick 4 and I believe 5 at the same time. But he's getting closer to shooting John Wick 4. So he needs to keep his facial hair that he has up in the John Wick films, which he has been keeping up with lately with the past films that we've seen him in outside of the John Wick. And, you know, he still has that look and whatnot. And it's, it has Carrie Ann Moss up in there playing Trinity. And it has Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, who was just recently in Candyman as Morpheus in this one. It has to do with memory loss, as well as it still goes on with that Alice in Wonderland thing that we were introduced within the first one about going down the rabbit hole and everything else. As well as the song that accompanies it is Alice in Wonderland themed. And we see agents up in there as well. And, you know, it nostalgically goes back to a similar fight scene that we've seen up in the first one when Neo was getting a little taste of what it is to learn from the Matrix to get, you know, information sent to him to where he, wow, I know Kung Fu. But slightly different because Neo seemed to uh, retain a lot of his powers. Like you see him up in the trailer, like literally doing Kung Fu moves up in that scene with, in the dojo with Morpheus. He pushes him back and he has a big force that accompanies it, which literally tears apart the dojo that they're in. And he ends up moving a missile to the side when he's on the roof with uh, Trinity and he falls off. Probably from that scene, he flies. So, but we don't see it in the trailer, but I'm just kind of guessing from on that point. And they do show that it does venture outside of the Matrix. You see Neo getting the red pill from Morpheus, so more than likely he's just going into that whole thing again where it's like, I'm inside the Matrix. I believe that this is reality and find out that it's not. But this time he has dreams. He has visions of what previously happened in the earlier films with the events prior and so he perceives them as a dream. So this it, it's kind of like following the same story, but just a tad bit different with him being within uh, the prior events. And a lot of quick action and fighting scenes or whatnot. Not really anything that we can truly stitch together to bring out a, a plot or anything about this movie. Because this is genuinely a teaser. It doesn't show us too, too much. And it is a quick shot of a woman who looks like she could be the little girl from the Matrix Revolutions or whatever. I don't know if she was in Reloaded, but, you know, she was like the little kid of two of the programs or whatnot. And she was also at the end with the Oracle. It seemed like she could be that little girl growing up or the girl could be just simply another version of the Oracle or just no one truly special. And I'm just looking too much into it, but it's, the money goes more to toward the Oracle. Like I said, it doesn't seem like it goes into really any plot besides Neo going back into the fight 
going back into the matrix, finding out all this information again. It does beg the question is like, how is Neo alive? How is Trinity alive? When they died at the end, their consciousness were probably put into the matrix. Their bodies is non-existent anymore, but they are truly just part of the matrix now. Their conscious is, and that's the reason why they're alive, because in one scene, you do see Trinity, she's kind of like looking, she's looking at Neo, Neo's looking at her, and you can see what looked like sweat or something, but it looks like matrix coating going down her, you know, side of her face, so she more than likely could be that, and then the mirror scene where it shows Neo looking like an old man, someone else, maybe that's how everyone else sees them and you know this is just theories that other people put out i'm like okay i i can i can see that so maybe he his conscience is in somebody else's body or something of that nature so and it seems like he's going to be going by his real name in this film which a lot of people really kind of look past even though mr smith has been calling him mr anderson for years now but thomas anderson seems like what he's going to buy but maybe they're going to highlight that but at the same time still call him neo but in any case it was a pretty good teaser it wasn't anything super special it wasn't anything super crazy it didn't get me like super hyped for the movie but it did get me a little bit more interested or whatnot hopefully the next trailer that we see is more than likely gonna give us a little bit more as far as the story goes and a little bit more as far as visually what we're going to see and what we are to expect from the movie but so that has been my thoughts on the new teaser for the matrix resurrections and all the unanswered questions that we have from it and i hope you guys like this and if you did go ahead give it a thumbs up um subscribe and hit that notification bell and i will catch you guys on the next one so peace out stay safe